so today i'll be telling you about top 5 blender add-ons that are already inside blender you just have to turn them on and we'll be going from a little less useful ones to the absolute best ones to turn on pre-existing add-ons we go to edit and then preferences in preferences we can then go to the add-ons so starting off with number five archimesh this add-on helps you quickly generate architecture assets for example door windows stairs and a lot of other assets so we can search and check this box that says archimesh and then go to our viewport display, press shift A and then meshes and right here in the bottom you see Archimesh option. Now you can select whatever you want. This is really helpful when you want to quickly set up the scene and cannot model the whole interior. On number 4 is A and T landscape. This add-on allows us to generate different terrains very quickly. After enabling this add-on, press Shift A, Meshes and then Landscape. Now we can change the setting of this terrain by the dialog box at the bottom left. We open this and can change all these variables to make changes to the original landscape. But the main option which lets you select different types of terrain is operator presets. This gives you different options for your terrain. You can make lakes, mountains, valleys and almost every other type of terrain. Number 3 is Node Wrangler. Enable this add-on from preferences. This add-on helps you with nodes and sharing and compositing tab. In the node section, we press Ctrl plus spacebar and it gives you all the options that are now that are now available because of this add-on. And I will be discussing only two shortcuts. First is Control Shift T. This helps importing image textures to the setup really quickly without me adding or connecting any nodes. And second is Control T. This helps in setting up mapping coordinates. Node Wrangler saves a lot of time when you are working on huge projects that have a lot of materials. Moving on to our runner-up add-on, we have got Rigify add-on. So after enabling this add-on, you will be able to access different types of rigs by pressing Shift A and then going down to Armature. Then you will be able to make this whole rigs for humans and animals. This is a lot faster than making the whole rig bone by bone. All these add-ons really deserve their own separate videos and I'll be making them in the future. Now before moving on towards our final add-on, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you get continuous updates about new tutorials and features. I'll be also making a video on some of the new hidden features of Blender 2.9 update. So now for the finalists, we have Blender Kit. If you are a beginner or have problem with using nodes, this add-on has got you covered. This is an online asset library that helps you get materials and objects for free. After enabling this add-on, you have to sign up. I already have an account so I'll just sign in. This will open the login page on your browser. After logging in, you click materials up here, search for your material. I want lava. Now click get this material. Copy the link. And now we see Blender get option here. We open the dialog box and paste the link in the search tab.
Now we just drag and drop the texture to our mesh and it will be added. Now we go to the shading workspace tabs and can also tweak the nodes of this material. This makes your work insanely faster and you can learn from the nodes as well. So guys these are the top 5 add-ons for me. Do let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite one and which ones I should have mentioned. Until next time, peace.